it pays to cheat inside Destiny 2. Or at least it pays Bungie and their legal team. And in this case, it was $16 million awarded to Bungie from Cheat Sellers Elite Boss Tech. In today's topic, we're going to read an article from The Game Post, which reads right here, Bungie, the developer of the popular online multiplayer game Destiny 2, has won a massive $16 million lawsuit against Elite Boss Tech, a company that sold cheat codes for the game. In late August 2021, Bungie filed this lawsuit against Elite Boss Tech and the defendants who developed, marketed, and sold the cheating software for Destiny 2 through a website, ballhacks.com. The cheat companies aren't very subtle, are they? They're not even trying to hide the cheats. They're like, what do we call the website? We, let's just call it ballhacks.com. Surely Bungie's legal team will never figure out that this is a cheater website. Fast forwarding to June 2022, defendant Robert James Duthie Nelson, the owner of Elite Boss Tech, agreed that Ballhacks cheat willfully violated Bungie's two copyrights associated with Destiny 2 and that the cheat circumvented the technological measures Bungie employs to control and limit access to its Destiny 2 software. Which to be fair, this guy is doing a lot better than some of the other cheat sellers. A lot of them decided to just not show up in court at all and just receive the default judgment, which is always much worse for you. So at least they actually admitted to their wrongdoing and tried to make restitution in this situation. If they hadn't, it might have been the default judgment, which could have been something like $20 million. But in all honesty, what is another $4 million tacked onto a massive $16 million lawsuit, right? Thanks to the consent, judgment, and settlement with Nelson, Bungie was able to identify two other defendants, Patrick Schaffes and Daniel Fagerberg. Never team up with a Pat and a Dan. That is a guaranteed recipe for disaster. Schaffes also agreed to cooperate with Bungie after getting served with the lawsuit. However, Larson still didn't appear even after getting the notice of the lawsuit. Nelson stated that Larson was aware of this litigation but believed he was beyond the reach of the courts. Wow. Daniel is above the courts. Damn it, Daniel, you're not above the courts. Court orders $16 million award in favor of Bungie. It's led Bungie seeking the entry of default judgment against defendant Daniel Larson in the amount of $17 million in total. This total represents the sum of, oh God, but so many numbers. 13,530,000 DMCA, 466,000 trebled to 1.4 million, 666,666 dollars. What a strange number is that? And then 1.999 million, 998, uh, uh. The court threw the book at him and said, here, you don't want to show up? Here's the default judgment, 17 million, Daniel. However, after reviewing the evidence Bungie submitted on the copyright claims, the court came to the conclusion that Bungie has failed to meet its burden to provide admissible evidence of actual damages and entered a default in the amount of $300,000 instead of the requested 1.4 million, which is actually a tough thing in these lawsuits is proving the damages that were caused to your company. It's hard for Bungie to verifiably show that this is the revenue we would have gotten if if these cheat makers weren't in our game and this is the revenue that we got so in this case the court came to a lesser conclusion in summary Bungie won a total of 16.1 million dollars in damages from this lawsuit you can find the individual amounts from the court document below wow what a crazy story Bungie is absolutely raking in the money from these lawsuits remember kids out there remember cheat sellers out there it does pay to cheat in destiny 2 it just doesn't pay you it pays Bungie and their legal team